Howdy doody, everybody. It's December 14th, 2021. It's almost 7 p.m. This is basically going to be it for the storm. Um, I think we maybe got four inches of snow in some of the, the, the higher locations. Uh, my house, we maybe got two and a half, three inches. Not close to 30 plus inches. So, once again, I apologize to all of you that drove up here and wasted your time. But. <laughs> As long as some of you are staying to go skiing tomorrow, I think there'll be very nice conditions tomorrow, and I think you'll definitely enjoy it. But I just want to do this last drive for the evening so you guys can see what town is, is looking like. This guy's, look, he's putting on chains in the middle of, of the freaking road. Dude, you're an idiot, guy. Sorry, guys, I don't mean to be a jerk like that, but that guy's a total douche. He's putting his life in danger. Like, like pull over. Don't think I'm being a jerk, guys. I'm just trying to save your lives. Like, that's just pure stupidity right there. It's as dumb as you can get. Okay, sorry. I'm, I'm just, I've, I've had a rough day. It's been disappointing. Um, but yeah, so look at this guy once again. Dude. Dude. Try to pull in the driveway and put on chains, bro. You'll stay safer. Had to talk to that guy on my loudspeaker too. All right, guys. So, what we got going on here is it's in the mid 20s and it's snowing pretty good right now. This is pretty much the end of it. As I said, this is the last big little uh, push. The majority of the storm is already in Nevada. I can't believe it's already that far away now. But yeah, we got kind of. Uh, kind of the crap end of the stick here, unfortunately. So it is what it is. But for those of you who are staying overnight, I think you'll have a great day tomorrow. I just feel so sorry for those of you who came up here wanting to ski and snowboard in the fresh powder and lots of it. But unfortunately, um, yeah, look, you guys can see there's not much snow. We hardly got anything, but I'm grateful for anything I'm grateful for all your comments. It's been it's been truly, truly a blessing. It really has been responding to your comments. You guys are wonderful people and you guys are very helpful. I just feel horrible about this. So we're gonna go into Big Bear City and then cut back through Moon Ridge to take us back home. Um, but yeah, I just want you guys to see what town's looking like right now. 6.45 p.m. 26 degrees we're supposed to get down to about 13 to 15 degrees tonight um, and I'm pretty sure they're making snow also so it should be really really nice tomorrow but if you guys saw the video earlier where it was rain and flooding I mean I I, I can't imagine some of the disappointment but you know it is what it is that happens up here a lot we we live in a very interesting area climate wise I mean a very interesting area climate wise. We're getting like a blizzard right here. Check this out. How cool is that? Um, it, it's just, it's really hard to predict right here because these storms have to go over three little mountain ranges as part of the San Bernardino mountain range and we're in the very back. So a lot of times when they hit the front part of the mountain range, the storms lift big time, condense and dump everything right then and there and then they they just die out back here. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but um, thank you guys again for being so cool. Um, I apologize about my responses not being as long as usual because I care about you guys and I love to fully engage with you guys. I am so beyond tired. I, I, I am dead tired. I haven't slept at all. It's been almost 48 hours now, um, but you guys are important to me and I want you guys to see what to expect when you bring your children up here to have some fun too but yeah so i love you guys a lot and also i wanted to apologize about the live feed i don't know why we, we weren't getting any good live feed usually i can drive through the whole town doing a live feed and we're usually totally fine but i got some good news for you guys well actually i shouldn't even say this but it looks like we're gonna have a white christmas it looks like it's supposed to snow christmas eve and christmas day but we were supposed to get two plus feet of snow here and you can still see the sidewalk. So let's just, let's put it to you that way. 
Um, yeah, you guys, just please, please, if you're gonna come up here, please make sure it's something you can totally afford to have major errors happen because it happens all the time up here. Even when I was a kid, when, when we would come up here, it was a, a, a very similar situation. They'd predict a lot of snow and then there'd be nothing or it would be raining. Um, and it's it's just, yeah, I, I, I get frustrated about that because I want you guys to come up here and, and have a great time because you guys live down the mountain, deal with that daily grind. There's so much going on down there. It's just nice to have a nice little break up here. And so I apologize about that. Sorry about the lackluster amount of snow. As I said, I think maybe like the most snow at some of the resorts, maybe four inches. Um, obviously at the top of the mountain, maybe six, six inches or so, eight inches. But that's my, that's my guesstimate. And that's just from years of experience being here. Oh, man. But it's been nice dealing with you guys today. The live feed, however short it was, it was nice talking to you guys. I'm sorry I couldn't respond to every comment. I try my best, but it was literally blizzard conditions when I had that live feed going. So it was really hard to stare at my phone and stare at the road that didn't exist <laughs> because there was so much ice and or so much wind and snow blowing. So, but yeah, guys, it's December 14th, 2021. As I said, mid twenties right now. Um, this is gonna be the last video for the night. And then tomorrow, obviously we'll do the aftermath video and the time lapse I think is gonna be really pretty, even though it's not that much snow, but it's the most snow we've had yet this season. So I'm thinking the time lapse is gonna be beautiful. I'm stoked about that. And now we're turning on McAllister. We were on division and then we turned left. I can't remember what the name of that street, Sugar Pine or something. And then an immediate right on McAllister. I think this is McAllister. I think it is. But yeah, I hope all of you down there who got soaking wet, I hope none of you suffered any flood damage or anything like that. I hope everybody's okay. I know we all, we all get excited when we get weather like this whether it's snow or a lot of rain because it's different and it's just a different perspective on things and for me it takes me out of really horrible moods and and, and makes me happy except for when we had the power outage and then YouTube posted that same video twice I had nearly had a panic attack um, if you guys only knew how much I really cared about you guys man otherwise why would I even care right like like who cares right well I do because it's a big deal to me I don't want to waste your guys time but anyway welcome to Big Bear Lake folks I really hope those of you who are here are having a good time and trying to find a great time and uh, especially when you're with your family because even just this little tiny bit of snow still enough for you and your family to build a snowman and just create those beautiful lifelong memories because you are beautiful people and you are all my best friends I still feel really bad that I, I couldn't respond to all the comments on the live feed. I was trying. I pulled over a whole bunch just to make sure I, I could read. The comments were coming in so fast. It, it's got like, it's all the love you guys show me is just so spectacularly wonderful. It makes me so happy. And I'm so grateful for each and every single one of you. But yeah, if you guys come up tomorrow, I strongly suggest you have tire chains with you even though we didn't get that much weather. Cause I don't think we're supposed to get above freezing tomorrow. So a lot of this is going to be ice, and I need to slow down. This is a very dangerous road here. A lot of this will turn into ice from the cars driving over it and over it and over it and packing it down. So, oh, man, slow down. Whew. What a crazy, crazy set of events today guys I mean I was so overwhelmed today with so much stuff but now that I got through it I feel so good you know it's like when you work really hard and you know it's daunting but when when you finish doing it it feels really good feels really gratifying and really rewarding and that's kind of how I'm feeling right now I'm feeling very tired obviously but I'm I'm feeling very gratified for for going out all day for 
for you guys because I just want you guys to come up here and have fun and be safe because this is one of the most fun places ever. But yes, it can be very costly, especially when you're expecting a lot of snow. The disappointment's overwhelming. I, as I said, I've, I've, I've been there numerous times. Like we've canceled days off of school with my mom and stuff to, to bring us up here and then the storms wouldn't even happen. And, and it would like, as a youngster, it would make me cry. It really would. It's, it's just because this is the, these are the happiest times for me but this is unfortunately this is it for this storm and I said I'll get up early so we can do an aftermath when it's still really cold like in the teens just so there's no melt possible at all not even from any of the sun's rays and uh, radiational heating I should say but yeah we're back on Moon Ridge Road right now um, yeah, guys, thank you for everything. Thank you for always being there for me. Thank you for all the support. The comments are so unbelievable. The comments are life-changing, life-saving. Um, I just hope that I can, I can be there for you guys too. I'm struggling so bad, but you know what? I'm, I'm getting better every single day. And I, I don't think I could do it without you guys. So thank you guys for all the love and support. I hope you enjoyed this little storm we had. Sorry it wasn't the monster they predicted. But we did get a lot of rain, so that's good. Hopefully it'll help the lake out a little bit. I love you guys a lot. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. Happy December 14th, 2021. 20, I love you guys.